really insightful to look at the way that um, look at the process that we currently have in place for doing a land use um, bylaw amendment, which is which is currently um, for um, I think it's 87 is the is the uh, percentage of places where you can build residences that can build two or or fewer units. Um, I think it's like 63 or so for only one. And so if you wanted to, uh, you know, say you, you live on like an R2 property in Mount Pleasant and you know that there's more people who want to live in that community and up zone to RCG, today you'd have to go through, um, you know, anywhere from a few months to sometimes it could take up to a year or longer just to get the land use bylaw amendment, which, uh, you know, goes through the Calgary Planning Commission, and then it goes through, or it goes through administration, of course, at, at both sides, at both sides, and then it has to go to a public hearing meeting of council, um, and then the final decision is made. And so there's just this huge, what I would call the waste of administrative time, especially when 95% of those applications are uh, approved anyway. And, um, you know, cities need everybody. Cities need everybody in order to function. Um, and so a really effective city is, is one that synthesizes everybody's needs very well. And I think on this debate, we've seen a lot of friction, like a lot of very hard to reconcile friction between, um, you know, I want my property to increase in value and I want property to decrease in value because if I don't, then I won't have somewhere to live. And we see, um, you know, I want to live somewhere that's has lots of amenities nearby and is very walkable and accessible by lots of modes of transportation. And, you know, I want more privacy and I want to be, I want kind of my own space. And these are like, of course, very, very valid um, concerns on both sides. Um, but the problem with addressing these right at the end of the development cycle, like right at the end of a, of a rezoning, you know, even down to the lot by lot scale uh, with the public hearing is you have, um, this, this sense of anger and urgency and this kind of those people and us over here um, that starts to come out. And I've seen a lot of, um, you know, very, like, oh, like almost bubbling up to, to a state of violence in some of these discussions that we're having around rezoning. And I think yeah. we, can, we can definitely look across the border. Um, this morning, I don't know if anybody saw Ravi Kalon, the housing minister of British Columbia proposed Kind of flipping the public engagement process on its head so instead of having the, the public hearing at the end we start with the public listening uh to create a plan that we can work towards and, and as celia said i think um we agree with strong towns as well is that once you kind of bring everybody to the table to talk well i need this okay well i need that it stops being kind of like um uh like a fight to uh, you know, just get the bare minimum for your needs and more like a, how do we actually reconcile and synthesize the, the very um, divergent needs of the people in our city.